Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm going to be doing a full inspired makeup tutorial today. So the inspo I got for my full makeup look today is from Morgan and she is um, Ja Definitely Feel, probably saying that wrong, um, on Instagram. Don't worry, I'll put all the links in the, the description and she's also Dirty Teacups on Twitter, which I actually found her on Twitter that she slays the full makeup looks. So I'm really getting inspo from her and recreating one of her looks. And yeah, so I suppose we'll just jump right into it. So I already primed my eyelids. I used the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Um, and I also set it with a white eyeshadow. This way my eyeshadow will last all day and not crease. And setting it with an eyeshadow, if you don't already know, um, will stop the eyeshadows from going patchy and help them blend out. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. And this is going to be my transition shade and um, act as a gradient for all of my other shades. And I'm just going to blend that into the crease with my MAC 217. This eye look is going to be like super warm shades, um, obviously because it's full and really coppery. So the next shade I'm going to be using is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and I'm going to bring this into my crease but slightly lower than the transition shade. This is still going to be a transition shade but just a little bit of deeper one so therefore I bring that lower. So the next shade I'm going to be using is Frappe, also by Makeup Geek. All of these eyeshadows are Makeup Geek, but not all of them I will be using. Um, and this is just like a really warm reddish medium brown. And I'm also going to be using my MAC 217, just to tap on for excess, because you don't want any fallout, especially because I have done my whole face. Um, and I'm just going to be placing it right into the crease. And the shade I'm going to be using is Cocoa Bear, which is like the ultimate ball colour. And I'm just going to take that on my MAC 217 brush. And I'm going to put that right into my crease because it is deeper and you don't want like a dark colour all the way up here. So as you can see, we've really just built up that crease in the outer corner. And it's also nice and blended. Um, applying the eyeshadow in a gradient from lightest to darkest will basically do the blending for you. If you um, do darkest to lightest, you'll have to do a lot more blending and it can end up being like a bit muddy. And I'm going to be taking Summer Yum from the Peach Palette. Very exciting because this palette is apparently coming back. In, uh, in December, because um, I know a lot of people couldn't get their hands on it. Uh, I'm thinking about doing another tutorial with that palette um, when it comes back in stock. And yeah, so I'm just applying that where I apply Kogo Bear. So in uh, Morgan's look, she used MAC Copper Ring. I do not have that colour, so I'm kind of just going to be mixing colours um, to create that kind of reddish um, copper colour. So the first shade I'm going to be taking is Cosmopolitan by Makeup Geek. It's just like a warm pinkish rose goldish copper. I'm going to take that on the Sigma E56 shader lid brush and I'm just going to get some Fix Plus and spritz this eyeshadow. So I'm going to apply it from inner corner to about two thirds across my eye which would be about where my um, eyeshadow in my outer corner starts. So I'm going to take Magic Act, which is this one up here, um, this is Make a Big Foot eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this on my inner corner. Then I'm just going to take the gold colour from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and apply that on top of So now I think I'm going to take the Flamethrower World Shadow and I'm going to mix that with Cosmopolitan and apply that 
onto my outer V and kind of in the middle of my lid. So I'm just grabbing a clean brush with the Magic Act and packing that right onto the inner corner here. And I'm actually just going to grab some flamethrower by, it, by itself and pack that here. Notice I'm still leaving the outer V matte. So this outer V needs to be a bit darker though, so I might... Um, I might apply a little bit of mocha by Makeup Geek. I'm just going to apply it in the outer V. Okay, I said I don't like that colour. I'm actually going to take Americano, which is a bit warmer than um, mocha, and apply that instead. So Morgan actually had a wing with this look, but I really feel like if I apply a wing, I'll just ruin it. So I'm just going to go do the other side and I will come so back. I just applied House of Lashes, Iconic Lashes and just a tiny bit of eyeliner in my inner corner to help blend the lashes into my lash line. Man, I really need to chuck these lashes out. They're so gross. Um, so now I'm just going to do the lower lash line and inner tear down. So I'm going to do my lower lash line all matte. And basically just like the colours that I put in my crease. So we're going to start off with Peach Smoothie and blend that onto my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take Creme Brulee and blend it where I put Peach Smoothie. Then I'm going to take Frappe and blend it there as well. I'm going to try and um, bring Frappe up just a little bit higher than um, all the other colours. So right now I'm taking Cocoa Bear on the E36 Sigma blending brush and I'm applying that onto my lower lash line as well. So I'm going to take the same brush that I applied Americano with some Americano on it and apply that on my lower lash line as well. So I'm going to apply the most product onto my outer corner and then I'm going to, I'm going to, can't speak, I'm going to lightly blend it into my inner corner. So for my inner corner I'm going to be using the MAC Vanilla Pigment. Um, so now I'm going to go into the lips. I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics liner in Dodge OK to line them. And then I'm going to be applying Kylie Cosmetics Literally Gloss on top. So that's actually the final look. Um, don't forget to give Morgan a follow on Twitter or Instagram. Um, and don't forget to give me a follow on my Twitter and my Instagram. Um, I'll leave all of that in the description. And yeah, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And maybe leave a comment if you want to. Um, bye guys.